Bub, here we are with this 2016 Ford Mustang as Mustang Mania continues here at Bubba's Exotic Motorsports. What do we got right here, Bub? Who's the manufacturer? What is the what makes this a good thing to do for your vehicle or an upgrade? So these are great in terms of uh, direct fit bolt-ons, right? And as you know, direct fit bolt-on can gain a lot of horsepower and a lot of torque in today's vehicles. I mean, massive. On turbocharged cars, you can be looking at 50 to 100 plus sure. foot-pounds of torque increases just on basic bolt-ons and tunes, much like these very simple cold air intake and throttle body upgrades to the S550 Mustang line. That's what we're getting ready to do here. It's considered kind of a stage two, which is cold air intake, throttle body, tune, full exhaust. That's kind of like your stage two package that you would have on these cars. More air in, more air out, more fuel to the system, a little advancements on the timing tables, and boom, you've got yourself a good 30, 40 horse. So, Bub, this is the cold air intake itself, it looks like, right, right. here. Yep. But what do we have right here and right here that are part of this Ford Performance yep. installation? So, this is actually the upgraded larger uh, Ford Performance throttle body, as well as the adapter to go from the larger diameter inlet from the inlet butterfly to the OE size of the factory plastic intake manifold, so that does allow that airflow to fit in there. So this kind of is the replacement of like a carburetor butterfly maybe? Yeah, pretty much. Something yeah. like that from yeah. an electronic fuel injection standpoint. Yeah, that's right. Is that correct? Yep. And then Bob, what else, did, what else did it come with here? I see we have a mounting bracket over here, and what do we have right here, Bob? So these are actually uh, Procals, right? So you have to take and plug this into not only two places, right? The first place you always want to do any sort of electronic tuning to is always your software. You always want to make sure that your software, much like having a phone, an Android, iPhone, mm -hmm. you always want your software up to date. It's going to have the latest and greatest of technology on it. And sometimes there's bugs that need it to be fixed. And that's why you always want to update those things first. First and foremost, this will get plugged into a standard computer. In our case, we're going to use a laptop to tune this. We'll plug this in through our USB cable, mini USB. We'll plug this thing in. We will go to Ford Performance's site, download the exact Pro Cal tune for this 16 Mustang, which tells you exactly what components and keywords to put in there. That will download the tune. We can then install this custom tune into this 16 Mustang right through the USB port. And Bub, right, this the OBD2 port. You actually came in on your day off and loaded this or downloaded the uh, correct tune to your email in preparation for getting ready to do the load during business hours. That's right. So these are the small things you can do behind the scenes to get it done. But we're gonna talk about what it takes to install this later on in this how to do it yourself cold air Ford performance Mustang installation when you give it a grade towards the end. That's right. In the meantime, Bub, let's go ahead and get started with replacing this cold air intake assembly. Sounds good. Here we have the original Ford OEM, or original equipment of the manufacturer, uh, cold air intake, or air intake as it were. You can see that the client previously upgraded this to one of the oil type uh, filters, air filters, much like a K&N style filter. Although this is an AEM filter itself, hence the AEM logo on the top here. We can see from a size perspective, while Bob's over there getting everything taken apart, how different this really is and how much cooler air is going to be thrust into the motor. Bubs physically removed what we call the throttle body that allows this opens and closes right here. It's driven electronically through a gear assembly in here which plugs in on the back side and opens and closes to allow air and fuel into the engine. We can see, now that Bub's removed that, the difference in size between the two and how big an upgrade this is really going to be. Ford did a very nice job in their fit and finish with this and direct fit application. No, I just don't understand where the instructions are for the whole kit. There was uh, there were no instructions that came with it, Bob. 
Dang it, Ford. Michael Anthony gave us a thought. Tell me what we have here in our hand uh, versus what we have sitting on the Woodward Fab bench. So this is the factory lower air box, right? The, uh, the air filter originally sat in here, and then there was the upper air box going into the inlet side of the, the throttle body assembly. This one now, is a, it's a sealed unit that you can see pulls all the way through from the back side of the grill, right? So technically a fully functional kind of factory style cold air intake mm -hmm. for the inlet. This side is a much more high flow setup, which you can very easily see in its design. Much more open, a lot more breathable. And then this is also going to be that same adapter that will go on the front of this one to go to the back side of the grill as well, which will still retain that factory cold air intake style. So Bub, may I please pass this off to you for a second? Oh, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, this gives you an idea of how much uh, air change Bub is going to be making to this five liter 2016 Ford Mustang. Here's the OEM or original equipment of the manufacturer part versus the aftermarket Ford Performance direct fit piece. You can see it's quite a difference in the amount of air that we're going to be bringing into this vehicle. That's why you have to have somebody that understands proper tuning to get this done properly. Otherwise, your air fuel ratios will be off and the car will run terribly. So Bub is now installing the brand new Ford Performance cold air intake. There's a lot of things you guys need to be careful of while you're doing this. For example, the mass airflow sensor sitting inside the stock air box assembly is going to remain on the stock assembly. The new Ford Performance unit comes with a new mass airflow sensor. However, one of the things that the master has noted is the wiring is very tight it doesn't have quite enough length to reach over to the mass airflow sensor. So what he had to do is unplug or unclip the factory wiring so that he had enough length and it wasn't pulling too tautly against this. Also remember, ladies and gentlemen, after the throttle body and spacer are installed, right here as you can see, you still have your vacuum hoses that will need to be hooked in to the new cold air assembly. And the master will do that as soon as he gets done moving everything around over here. Keep in mind, leave everything in a loose fashion, and once everything is lined up and fitted properly, that's when you can begin to tighten things down. Let's keep an eye on what Bub's doing here. Here we are with the 2016 Ford Mustang 5 liter. You have completed the Ford Performance aftermarket installation. Now, Bob, even though this was a Ford OEM direct fit replacement, let's talk about a couple of the things that you encountered with the installation. Not negatively, but for example, you didn't have an instruction sheet with this. Well, you know, it's uh, a lot of the times you get some of these aftermarket parts. Some people go through those boxes. Sometimes you don't get in them what should be in them. And in something like this, when you're having to work with something that's um, 
as small and simple as a job as it is, you want to follow those instructions to the T, right? Yes. And every manufacturer, we talk about this all the time, whether it's Ford Performance or CPE or Borla or Turbonetics or Hellion, it doesn't matter who it is. Read the direction. Everyone has their own way of doing things, right? That's the point of R&D. And all these companies tell you to do something a little bit differently than every other company, regardless of the same end result of you know, hooking up breather tubes or things like that. They all still go to the same place, but maybe somebody figured out a better way to route them to work with their setup. Mm -hmm. So, Bub, let me ask you, or let me uh, just kind of show with, share with everybody, one of the things that we do in our installations is we document pretty much everything. One, um, You would notice that there was no instructions in the box, but you noticed that the box had been taped on the bottom and it had been cut open somewhere in transit. So the uh, thought was just to protect yourself from a liability standpoint, you had noted that the box had been opened uh, and potentially something could have been lost through there. Yeah, it's probably a good chance. You know, we were missing a couple of the fittings that we needed for this thing to get this install done exactly how it should. Luckily, there's a Ford dealer less than 25 feet from us, yes. so we're able to just walk across and grab everything we need factory forward parts so it's never going to be a problem in terms of missing pieces or not doing the job 100 percent rather than just doing a little piece work here and then letting the client ride like that it's as an installer bug you know we always protect ourselves we document everything we do with photographs as of course video and written documentation as well but right. one of the things you had to do is um, i had this fitting right here which was a ford factory fitting um, can you share with everybody what this is and one of the complications you had from this. So yes, so the way that the uh, original breather assembly is on the factory air intake assembly on the Mustang GTs, which is known as a Coyote motor, it actually has two breather inlet, right? So you have four connections total. There's two breather, one for a silencer, and then another for your crankcase going off to your driver's side valve cover. This system going to this GT350 style setup only has a single inlet, so you have to actually use a factory style T to put And that would be the T that comes right here, Bob. Correct. And so you typically, you just bring the three together with the Ford Supply Vacuum T. That's right. Vacuum T. It's a large vacuum T is really what it is. Yeah, that's So, Bob, let's talk a little bit about installation time on this particular Ford Performance uh, aftermarket air intake assembly. Um, you know, not too bad. You know, all, in all, it's uh, basic hand tools, right? Um, eight millimeter, 10 millimeter. Okay. Um, all can be done on quarter drive or three eighths. I typically use my quarter drive with my electric screwdriver. When you say quarter drive or three eighths drive, can you tell me what you're saying there? Just in terms of the size of the ratchet okay. and socket setup that I'm using, combination setup. So something along these lines like this, Bob, for example. Right. The quarter. And eight. for the most part, the reason I actually do this is to try to control my torque levels, right? That's really all it is. Very when you're putting on things like throttle body those are you know seven foot pounds or seven inch pounds so it's not that much torque to snap these things off inside of the plastic manifold uh, so you got to be careful with that kind of stuff if you're using a 3 8 ratchet sometimes that torque feeling can get lost by just a simple weight that you're working with things in your hand so i like to use quarter drive when i'm working with something very small like this interesting so you can physically feel the insulation of it right um you had you used a screwdriver a flathead screwdriver right for yep. your band clamp yep um and what else eight ten millimeter eight and ten and then uh, also another great thing to have is like a push pin or a trim removal tool just to pop those wiring harnesses out of your way okay but one of the things you did encounter though was the wiring harness for the mass airflow sensor was very tight in the factory location. How did you get around that problem? Right Just there? from uh, it wasn't you know it was it was tight correct, but it was uh, something simple. You know you remove it from the factory retainers, and uh, there's one inside this inner fender well on the driver's side. Once I actually removed that, rather than just leaving the system hanging there with a bunch of loose push pins on it, I actually went ahead and slipped that with a blade to pull all those factory keepers off, so it has that factory style look, and then rerouted it the nice correct way with plenty of slack to the mass airflow. Sensor. And one of the things, ladies and gentlemen, you'll want to do on the installation, just like the master does with everything, notice that everything is turned going the same direction. Here, here, all of the screws are what we call indexed and flattened. So you can see your flats are the same here, and here, here, everywhere you go. But on an installation scale, one to 10 on the Ford uh, Performance. Go ahead and check. So I'm gonna go with a, um, let's go for like a, in terms of easy as being a, let's go easy as being a one, hardest being a 10, I'm gonna go with a 1.2. <laughs> so super, super easy install again. Having the right tools gets the job done. Coming down to the nitty gritty, that is when you get into doing the ProCal tuning and yes. that is the stuff that really, really matters. You guys did miss that clip, but I actually did bring my laptop out, pull on all of the Ford Performance uh, programming, 
from their site and you can actually download all of that. You will be given specific codes to update through the OBD port directly into the car. So that actually does take a little bit more time. Overall install time was just over two hours for everything start to finish, throttle body, cold air intake, downloading the software, getting everything plugged into the car, tuned and doing a little custom tuning in there as well. So this client's gonna go out and love this new upgrade he's got. We heard you use the term OBD, Bob. Can you tell us what that means, please? So onboard diagnostics, which is right here. And, and that's and just a port that you have inside the footwell of the car. Most of them are in the driver's side footwell. You can plug into it, whether you're doing custom tuning or if you have a check engine light or service things that need to be updated inside the computer, you can go through that port right there. Well, let's hear how this grill runs. Go All ahead right, and fire up. This? Thank you, All sir, right. very much. Let's take a listen, ladies and gentlemen, as the master fires it up and we hear how it sounds. installation for you here as Mustang Mania continues at Bubba's Exotic Motorsports. Good job, Bub. Hey, stay tuned for not this video, but the following video. It's going to be a Lambo door conversion on an S550, so that's not one you're going to want to miss.